But I'm also telling you that in the world, not just here in Korea, but in the world, the reaction to this has been very high level of interest. Those of you, and I forgive this, if you're in finance uh, expertise, you know from finance theory that it said that if you could find a security that's very, very highly correlated with consumption, aggregate consumption, you know, that's what we do, consumption. Not investment, not government expenditures, consumption, okay? If you can find an asset that's very highly correlated with that, it's a very valuable asset, not just for retirement, but for all kinds of things. Selfie, because they're indexed to consumption, consumption per person, think of consumption as your standard of living of the country. If they, you take consumption, average consumption per person, that's the average standard of living measured in terms of how much they consume. Now, how much you make, because when you make money, some of it you save, some of it you pay in taxes, and so on. I'm talking about your standard of living is your consumption. Okay? Well, now we come to, I've described why we did it this way and why it's indexed. But remember, this is just a government bond with slightly different indexing. Why do I say government should be the issuer? Because in principle, any company could issue it. You personally could issue one, you know, C to C over the internet, you could issue a, a selfie. Of course, you're not sure you're going to get paid in 30 or 40 years, but, you know. Um, but the reason is, first, if it's issued by the government, we don't have to have a long discussion of risk of getting paid what you're promised. If it's, it's like a government bond, or like, for that matter, NPS. NPS, you, you know, so this is as safe as you can get. Therefore, we don't have to explain to people, if you buy this thing, you might get more, but you might get less, and we have to tell you about it and train you on it. That's a nightmare. We just say, this is what you're going to get. You know what you're going to get with a selfie, period. No discussion of having to go further in risk. If these are going to be a bedrock or an important part of the retirement system of Korea, they have to be available to people to buy any day when they're saving. They can't be, oh, I'm sorry, there are no selfies around. There's none on the shelf. You can't have a policy. You can't have as a core for retirement unless you have a reliable supply. Government can do that. It also has to be a big supply, right? Suppose lots of people like this and they start saving. Well, you have to have an entity that credibly can issue in large size, the government can. Now what else? Why are there no private sector selfies right now? If this is so good, why don't they have them? The answer is the private sector, insurance companies, pension funds even, don't have an asset that they can buy to hedge or to that they could then say, by buying this asset, I'll have the right amount of money to pay you what I promised you in self, on the selfies. There is no asset you can buy in the market that pays, you know, that pays a return equal to consumption. Uh, I just want to show one other thing. Uh, in the slides, you'll find a bunch of op-eds from all around the world. India, Turkey, Japan, United States, UK, France. They heard about selfies. There are no selfies being issued right now. They heard about them. Every one of them have written stories on that. They don't do that unless they, people are finding it interesting and important. Several governments have become very interested. So that's telling me this is an idea that makes sense to people and it's saw, and touching on issues that are important. A conference recently, really recently, in South Africa, and these are actuaries conference, were exposed to the idea of selfie, much like I did with you now. And they did a, did a survey of what features of selfie appeal to you. Well, there's this, the forward starting, the payments, the indexing, or some are all of the above. So 64, 19, how many people didn't like anything about selfies or didn't care? 6%. Something that doesn't exist. 94% of the people at this, in the survey 
said at least some or all of the things appeal to them. That's pretty cool for a start. What else do we ask them? A harder question. If it were possible, would you actually buy retirement selfies? This said, the first one said, well, are you interested? Do you like it? Of these, the amount that said no interest was 10%. 90% said that they had at least a slight interest. And the overwhelming 65%, they were definitely interested. What am I trying to tell you? I'm not trying to sell you this. I'm trying to say in shorthand, I've told you what it does. I've tried to explain it so it makes sense to you. But I'm also telling you that in the world, not just here in Korea, but in the world, the reaction to this has been very high level of interest. And that tells me, maybe I'm sure if you take these, you could even design something better. I don't say selfies is the best design. But it's a floor of design because you can do it. And the reaction is telling me there's a huge interest in this. And this design works in any country. This is not institutionally a Korean design or a US design or a UK design. OK? So that's it. Thank you very much. Welcome to Selfies. I hope it shows you signs of things that we can do. And all of this can be done right now, meaning there's no new technology, no new markets, no new institutions you have to create. OK? And it's pretty straightforward. It's a government bond. The payments are there. You know, there's no complex, dynamic, something or other's complexity. So thank you very much. <laughs>